Hey y'all, what's up? I am, let me see, I'm trying to get the angle together. Okay, let's see, let's do this. Hey y'all, what's up? Good morning. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Um, but good morning, you guys. I, what time is it? Okay, it is 5.27 a.m. I am being extra. I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm being extra. Um, but yes, it is 5.27 a.m. Today is February 14th which some also say is Valentine's Day. So they say, February 14th, 2023, it's Tuesday. And I am, I just pulled into the employee parking lot. Um, let me see, oh no, let me definitely need light. Yeah, I just pulled into the employee parking lot. Like I said, it's 523. I have a seven o'clock a.m. standby report time. I know, Kimberly, why are you there half an hour early? hour and a half early i gotta make up for my um last little trip y'all so first let me run it back i was like i don't even think i'm gonna record because i mean you know if you know you know if you know you already know but i was just like i'm gonna record for y'all um because after this i will be off a few days until my next trip um so my grandfather passed away on the 6th of february so i'm traveling to new orleans this weekend with my family to go to his funeral and then actually have another i have a trip on the 19th his funeral is the 18th my trip is on the 19th my trip is um to new orleans in raleigh durham so i may record that i don't know but today we are on standby on e concourse which is considered in atlanta the international concourse and for not not too much emphasis on the international um and the reason i say that is because a lot of the time when you're on this standby on the e concourse you're not really called for a international trip you're more than likely going to be called for a domestic trip even though most of our most of our international trips leave out of e concourse most no nah. so anyways y'all um the reason i'm here early <laughs> get to the point girl get to the point the reason i'm here early is because my last trip i was on standby i had a 3 30 3 o'clock 3 30 3 o'clock stand 3 o'clock report time i think it's 3 3 or 3 30 one of them times report time and before i went to work i had a really good conversation i mean it was good it was a good conversation and um, I let time get away from me. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go to work. <laughs> I have to go to work. And prior to that, I was good on time. I was, um, yeah, prior to that, I was good on time. The reason I went to have the conversation was because I was good on time. And so I kind of just had to make up for it on the way to work. I was like, I cannot be late. I was just, y'all, I had so many things running through my mind. It was literally hilarious. I had so many different things running through my mind. So, um, that's why I'm here early today. Well, I didn't want to be here this early. This is a little extreme, but I'm here early. Um, and I ended up making it to work on time. It was 3.30. I had to report because I remember I signed in at 3.28. I signed in at 3.28. If I would have stayed a minute longer in that conversation child that minute would have cost me like 10 minutes so i'm so glad that i left when i did um but yeah we're on standby don't know where i'm going of course i'm always like lord send me where you need me so oh for that trip also i went to it was two days ago for the standby the trip i'm just telling you about well standby end up going to tucson arizona two-day trip um someone picked up my last a day which people been doing i'm like okay we love it um so i only had two out of three days i used two out of, two out of three days i was used i went to tucson arizona an hour before my standby was up they called and was like hey we need you here so we went to tucson tucson was cool um i want to i didn't film that i have footage um which i may insert into this video but a full-blown vlog i didn't do but Tucson is beautiful. Arizona is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I got to go back in the summer. I'll definitely be back in Arizona in the summer. It was it was a vibe. It's beautiful. 
so beautiful cool crew um yeah so i'm about to get out the car i'm gonna go ahead to my con concourse um and back to what i was saying about the last trip i don't like being late i don't like rushing i feel like it, it semi sets the tone for how your trip is gonna go and it's just too early for that so i'm not a i'm not that's not my my thing when that happened i was like yeah no this can't happen again um because rushing who wants to rush like i don't want to mm -mm. not about to be the thing so yeah y'all i'm gonna see you guys in the next clip i don't know where i'm gonna be i don't know what i'm gonna be doing but i'll see you guys um i'll see you guys later hey y'all so i made it to the airport as you can see um i'm sitting in the gate i could go to the lounge but i just prefer to sit in the gate i want to show you guys um what i got excuse me i'm eating some breakfast um let me show y'all i got some treated myself for valentine's day i think i said that in the clip maybe i didn't but i just wanted to give myself something love on myself a little bit or a lot of it <laughs> so i got myself some um perfume from the duty free store here in atlanta's airport so i got c passionate uh passion passion c passion by giorgio armani it smells so good mm. it's it's listen it's it smells really really good so definitely was a good buy um yeah so i love treating myself i like nice things if i'm not gonna do it then who's gonna do it you know what i'm saying um but yeah i'm just chilling here i just signed in it's 650 maybe like five or something 657 so yeah i'm waiting for crew scheduling to call me i'm on standby until 11 a.m so we'll see but i'll keep you all posted if i get a trip i'll let y'all know um i'm about to watch probably a show or read a book or something so yeah i'll see you guys later forgot to add that um i received 15 percent off for valentine's day that's what the cashier told me she's like y'all get an additional 15 percent well not additional but you get yeah you get additional 15 percent off of your um purchase today for valentine's day so that came in clutch so i paid like 89 dollars i think like 89 dollars for this person i was going to get the one for 130 that's why you got to look at stuff for yourself because i was asking her if there was a smaller version of this one i mean this is the smaller version but the bigger one i was asking her if it was a smaller version of it and she's like no i don't see it. i don't think so she looked and then i just so happened to walk around the store to see if there was anything else that i liked and i saw it and i'm like sis if you ain't know where it was just say that <laughs> if you ain't know where it was just say that but don't say there's not any hey y'all i just wanted to update you all so i'm still sitting here it is 8 38 um and i'm just still sitting here waiting to be called i've gotten a lot of stuff done so i'm glad about that um yeah it's been pretty productive so yeah we're just waiting i have a little over two hours left before i can call to be released for the day um so yeah i mean i want to get used i want to work i want a good trip I want to really, I want a good trip. I want to go somewhere warm. That'll be fun. Um, so yeah, nothing much is happening. So it's nothing much to talk about. <laughs> I'm about to finish reading my book. Um, Deliverance from Demonic Covenants and Curses by Reverend James A. Solomon. This book will save your life on a serious note. It is so powerful. It's so, so good. So much wisdom. So good. So I'm almost done. I'm on chapter 15. Um, and I think it's 18 chapters. Yeah, so. 
that's what we got going on just wanted to let y'all know i'm still sitting here this is the life of a flight attendant on standby so i'll chat with you guys later so i just got called by crew scheduling to help i hope the camera's right like it's backwards <laughs> to help board a flight I may work the trip. I don't know yet, but they said the person that is supposed to work the trip is just running late. So I'm just like standing in place for that person. Y'all, I was at E. They asked me to go to B. And every time they do that, I'm like, okay, just the FYI, I'm at E. So keep that in mind. But I'm almost to B now. I'm out of breath. But yeah, I don't even know. I don't know anything. I don't know where I'm going. I just know. I was asked to go to gate B4, so I'll let you all know, give y'all updates and all that good stuff, but yeah. Hey y'all, so, um, I'm not going to say what I wanted to say. <laughs> hey y'all, cool cats and kittens. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I can't take myself serious right now. First of all, I got donuts. <laughs> Okay, let me just tell y'all. So I went to, the last update, I went to board, help board. The flight was going to San Juan, Puerto Rico. It wasn't a layover, it was a turn, but it was a nice credit, child. I would have definitely stayed on that trip. But um, the guy ended up coming that I stood in place for. So I was like, oh. the crew were so nice. They were senior, senior people, senior mamas, senior daddies, senior. They were so sweet. They was like, Kimmy, stay on, stay on. I really wanted to. They were so cool. But um, the guy came. And then while all that was happening, crew scheduling called me and assigned me a trip for tomorrow, which is my my old Odie but goodie trip. I haven't had it in like a month. And it's basically Atlanta to Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic to Boston, long layover in Boston, and then head back to Atlanta on that second day. So it's a cool trip. It's a great credit. I love it. I put it on the board because I always just put my trips on the board. But now that I'm saying this, I actually may go and delete it because I want this trip. The credit is good. If they give me a net, like if they give me a turn today plus that trip tomorrow, beautiful. I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be so grateful. Um but I have an hour until I hour until I can be released. So I helped them board and now I'm just sitting at a random date on B Concourse, sitting, waiting to see what they're gonna do. Actually, let me see if there's anything in open time because then I'll know. I don't think so. But honestly, I think I'm going home today. Yeah, I think I'm going home today. I think I am going home today. I really do. Um, I think I'm going home today because I don't see anything open time unless they want me to board another flight, which is cool, but um, yeah, y'all. Um, so yeah, that's the only things we're going on. Our flight lead or the flight lead for the flight I was helping board just now had some donuts, some Valentine's Day donuts. I'm gonna insert a picture. She was so sweet. Her name was Crystal. So sweet. We took pictures. She wanted, she's like, you have a boomerang? You, you do boomerang? Can you send me? So I took a picture of her. She's so adorable. She's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. So sweet. Um, so yeah, it was, it was cool. I hope I see them again or I'm able to fly with them again because they were really cool. Um, so I didn't end up going with them, obviously, but it's cool. Um, I'll update, update y'all. If you see another clip, then you know I ended up going somewhere else. If not, I'll see y'all tomorrow for part two of this, day two of three for my A days. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. So, we made it to Denver. Um, about, well, I'm getting off the plane, obviously. I'm gonna just walk around, stretch my legs. We have like almost two hours sit here. <sighs> y'all, it's been crazy. So the last time I talked to y'all, I was sitting down. I had like a few minutes or maybe like an hour before my um, release time and I would be off. And of course they called me. So I saw this trip in open time and I was like, okay, I'll be, I'll be down for it. 
Uh, oh. Hi, I'll be back, okay? Drop the skin off. When you come back. Huh? When you come oh, back. okay, okay. <laughs> um, so, I saw this trip in open time. And I was like, oh, this would be cool if I had this trip. Lo and behold, this was not the original rotation. It was like a deadhead to Denver, meaning we'll be passengers on the plane. And um, we get to Denver, we lay over for like 17 hours and then we come back, go back to Atlanta tomorrow. Uh, where's the women's bathroom? Um, looking for women's bathroom, men. Oh, women's down here. <sighs> so, the, that was the original rotation. It was a nice rotation. It was so, it was perfect. Literally perfect. And then they reached, they changed us like so many different times. Um, they changed us so many different times to the point where I got changed maybe three times in two minutes. And I'm not even exaggerating. It was like three times in two minutes. Uh, my schedule changed, but I'm not used to math. I'm gonna tell y'all the rest later. Okay, guys. So, like I was saying, um, last time I talked to y'all, I last time I talked to y'all, I was sitting down, and I was waiting for crew scheduling to assign me something after I had done the boarding. And this is just the most amazing thing about being a flight attendant. You just don't know what your day is going to bring. Every day is so different. I love that so much. So sitting down, doo -doo -doo -doo, minding my business. And then they call me. And then, like I said, I saw the Denver trip in open time. And I was like, okay, if they use, if they call me for this one, I would be down. Like, this, that would be cool. Because um, it was a really good trip. So they ended up calling me in for the Denver trip. And I was like, yay, I'm literally so happy. So the rotation was, like I said, a deadhead from Atlanta to Denver. Literally, that's when deadheading is when we are passengers on the plane. We're still working. We still are in uniform, but we're not working on the plane. Like, we're still considered working crew members, but we're not actually working. We're not serving. Another crew is. So um, that's what we're going to do. Deadhead, come to Denver and be done for the day. Literally get in at noon and be done for the day and have like an 18 hour layover and then work from Denver to Minneapolis tomorrow and then dead head back to Atlanta tomorrow night. Lovely trip, beautiful trip. So I headed to the gate and then between me heading to the gate and getting on the plane, they changed our rotation for to us now just working, working, <laughs> working from Atlanta to Denver. It's a Denver turn. So doing Atlanta, working Atlanta to Denver and then Denver to Atlanta so no more layover no more deadheads we just we work we just worked here and now we're gonna turn around and go back to Atlanta and we'll be done for the day um so that's just part of the life of a flight attendant things are constantly changing you can't get too much in your emotions and your feelings because I mean what can you do about it right so um yeah I'm just grateful I'm grateful um and tomorrow I'm going from Atlanta to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I love this rotation. And then Punta Cana and to Boston. And I have a long layover in Boston tomorrow. So um, that was originally gonna be my trip before they changed me to Denver. So I just preferenced it again so I can get it back. And sure enough, I got it back. So um, that's my three day. I'm gonna keep on vlogging for you guys until the end. Um, so yeah, today is day one of three. We are just sitting here, me and my crew members. They're cleaning the plane. And then we are going to head back to Atlanta and be done. So yep, I'm just here in Denver. Um, would have loved to stay, of course, but it's okay. I'll be back. Um, so yeah, that's the update, y'all. I hope I'm not talking too fast, but yeah. You headed back? Okay. I'll be there momentarily. So yeah, guys, um, crew is pretty good. I'm in the galley position today. I'm in the back. So well for this turn, 
And then tomorrow, of course, I'll be with new crew, crew members, so I'll rebid for my position. Good thing is I don't report, well, I report at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So um, I get in today, I get released today at 8 o'clock p.m. So I have to report tomorrow at 11 a.m. So that that's not bad at all. The trip is actually really good. Like I'm not even I'm not even mad about it. Um, so yeah, that's that's the update, y'all. I'm about to head back to the plane, and um, I'll talk a little bit more later. <laughs> People are looking at me. I mean, I don't care why why you looking at me anyways. But <laughs> yeah, guys, I'll um. I'll chat with y'all later. We are on an Airbus 321 today. Um, I don't know the passengers to do, but yeah, we're on an Airbus 321. Of course, no passengers are on. I'm about to just chill. We're gonna start boarding. Um, on my brush. So, I prepped the galley coming down here so I didn't have to do it now. Um, so basically everything we need to go back to Atlanta, I did it. I want that in the camera. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so everything I needed, I did. I do need to get the, um, coffee. See you guys, this is what we got going on. This day took a turn. It took a turn. <laughs> We all were like, because the crew scheduling kept calling all of us. So we like, what are we going now? What are we doing now? What are we got going on now? Yeah. But nothing like having a really good crew. I know some people be like, bad crew, good layover, or good crew, bad layover. You can make your layover fun. You know what I'm saying? But your crew, your crew is not cool. Your crew is not good. And it's, it's just not, it, it, it definitely makes or break it. Makes or break it. Make or break it. Why am I adding an S on? Um, oh my gosh. So, so many people were like, well, not so many people, but a good amount of people were telling me happy Valentine's Day as I was walking through the airport and I just didn't know how to respond. I'm like, something's wrong with me. I was just like, thank you. Okay, it was men. Let's just be clear, it was men. And I was just like, do I say thank you back? Like, I literally kept saying that. I'm like, should I say you too? Like, happy Valentine's Day to you too? Like, what's the, what do you do? What do you say? I don't know. I just didn't tell it back to them. I didn't say it back. And I'm like, should I have said it? Should I? I just didn't know. I just didn't know what to say. <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be a long day, but I'm gonna make the best of it because, y'all yeah, can't see my face. Your trips are what you make them, honestly and truly. Hey y'all, good morning. I'm trying to get rid of the glare. Um, good morning. Today is day two of three. I am currently at the airport getting ready for the trip I told y'all about yesterday to Dominican Republic. It is currently, I think, 10.53 um, a.m. And yeah, we're going to go and get our day started. Um, the gate is like over there but I just don't want to be at the actual gate right now. So I'm just kind of like on the other, in the other section. I don't know if anybody here is here yet from the crew, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna go down in like 20 minutes. 
I'm gonna go scan in and then go to the plane. I am the most junior on this flight, so I mean, they're gonna put, pick their positions and then that's gonna be that, right? So I'm not really too much. Um, there's not really too much for me to rush to try to get to the plane to pick my position because I'm gonna be the most junior in the place. So I do think I'm about to go to the store over here and see if they have any Celsius. And then um, I'm just gonna chill, finish watching my video. Um, Tiffany Montgomery, that's my sis. Um, <laughs> Are you on this flight? Yeah, you yeah. Uh huh. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I'm recording. <laughs> um. So yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Pretty sweet. Um, so you land, if you land, go to somewhere international, you always have to do a security sweep. After I come to Dominican Republic, I get these chips. I don't know if you can buy them in the States. I'm sure you can at like a store, like a Dominican corner store or something. But it's the um, Carl's Land Cantonito. These are so good. And I also tried the spicy four dollars for both of them. So got that. And then my crew member is just so sweet. So sweet. You probably heard her talking just now. But she got us some empanadas, chicken and cheese empanadas. Um they were so good. I mean, I tore it up. So I wasn't eating meat the first three weeks of this month. Um, or two weeks, I guess we're in the third week. Yeah, I don't know, but um, the plan was to go the entire month without eating meat. Oh, floss! I'll take one. Then trick. Thank you so. Oh, it's okay. I got my for you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, so oh, I'm not gonna do this on camera. We're gonna talk about. It. Um, Are you recording a video? Yes. I'm vlogging. <laughs> Do you want to be in a video? <laughs> That's the first time I done ever did done there heard that. Really? I have not had a flight attendant come on here and vlog. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Yeah, look at you setting trends all across Daddy D. That is so funny. I was just, I was talking about you and the empanadas. Oh yeah. Um, she got, this is who got the empanadas. They were so good. So I want. I kind of want to They were so good. Yes, they had those stones, but I didn't feel like meeting my family today. The stones. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. It's vibrated. What does that mean? Uh -oh. Boarding. Okay. Oh. Leaving early. Leaving early. Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> we can just leave early. The pilots choose to and get approval for it. Um. So yeah, I also plan on doing a flight attendant video to talk about terminology because I know a lot of times people hear flight attendants saying different things in videos such as like deadheads and jump seating and things like that and some of it is specific to the airline but for the most put for the most part if you work for any airline you're going to use this kind of terminology um so I just want to break it down for those of you that are or were once like are is currently how I used to be just didn't know anything about aviation or being a flight attendant or anything like that and you heard different words and you're like what does that mean and I have seen um some flight attendants that vlog break it down so that you all can understand but just in case the audience is different I want to make a flight attendant terminology video so you guys can better understand what we be talking about when we be talking about it because to talk about it and break it down in every single video is a lot so I would just dedicate one video to that 
Yay, subscribe to the channel. Also, I'm in the galley today. I'm in the back position. Um, even though I was the most junior, um, they were like, what position she want to be in? And I was like, <laughs> they asked me. People don't be doing that. They asked me and I said, I want the galley. So they was like, okay, you get the galley. Meanwhile, I'm like, and they're pretty senior, so. I appreciate that. Oh, I appreciate them so much. Hey y'all, good morning. Um, <laughs> update, I'm in Boston. Um, we got in like around, I got in my room like around 10, 10 something. Oh, as you all can see, I'm like just in my natural state right now. Um, as far as I've been up for like what time is it? Almost two hours. Um, <laughs> the funniest thing happened. My um, what was I saying? My. I just want to say something. My alarm went off on my phone. I had my alarm set for 8, 8 o'clock a.m. And I, <laughs> I was so used to being at my house. So when it went off, I screamed. Um, cancel Alexa or something. Or stop Alexa. I said stop Alexa. <laughs> um, sorry, somebody keeps texting me. So yeah. But I'm in Boston. Um, it is currently 9.50 a.m. And I am trying to figure out if I want to leave the hotel. We have a 2.23 pickup. Um, yeah, 2.23 pickup or something like that. So it's I have time. Um, I was going to go get some breakfast and then walk to Nordstrom Rack. It's like all within 10 minutes walk from the hotel. So that's what I did last time I was here. I didn't record because I think it was off social media or something like that. Um, but there's this bakery called Tati. I think it's called Tati or Tot Bakery in Boston. T A T T E. Um, really good food. Really, really good food. You know what? I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go because now that I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I'm gonna just go. Um, really good food. And I think I'm going to go there. Last time I went there, I got like a egg white something. I don't know. Something good. So. It's so crazy. That quick. I just changed my mind completely. <laughs> but yeah. Um, when we. Nothing much happened. I was determined to get a lobster roll last night. And let me see if I can prop you guys up. Yeah, I was determined to get a lobster roll. Oh, wow, my my boobs, okay. Let me stand like this. <laughs> I was determined. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. I was determined to get a lobster roll last night, um, given that we got in 35 minutes early and I saw that the kitchen closed at 10 at the hotel we're staying at. Well, not the kitchen closed, the restaurant closed. So I was like, I don't think that's true because the last time we stayed here, we got in, you always get in around the same time because the route for the most part is the same. Um, I was like, they were, last time I was here was around Christmas time and it was popping at like 10, 30, 11 at night. It's like no way the restaurant closes at 10. So sure enough, when we came in, it was pretty lit in the air down there. People were eating, people were drinking. So while they were doing the check-in, I ordered my lobster roll and fries. And it was good. It was good. And I purposely didn't bring anything because I, I said I, I wanted to get a lobster roll. <clears throat> this is a morning voice. Um, I said I wanted to get a lobster roll and fries when I get when I got here. So um, I didn't really bring anything. I just brought snacks. So I was like, I got to eat something. Um, so ate the lobster roll and fries. Took a good shower. And I just chilled. Went to bed. I was up trying to get my schedule right. Finally got it right this morning. Thank God somebody came through. I had to do a lot, but it's cool. Um, something I want to say. Something I want to say. Yeah, so today is day three of three. 
we made it child i feel like this vlog has been like a little all over the place given it started off with me being on standby was going to get released and got a trip that trip turned into another trip that trip turned into another trip ended up coming home got this trip this is the life of a flight attendant y'all <laughs> um but yeah we're this vlog is coming to an end i think i'm gonna stop it maybe after i show y'all what i get to eat from the bakery um, i'm gonna stop it i don't want it to be too too long um so yeah we have a 223 pickup we're going from boston to fort lauderdale florida and fort lauderdale to atlanta and we'll be done we're supposed to get in around 10 or 11 i think um tonight and i'm really like I need every single second, every single minute because I am going to New Orleans tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier in the video, um, to prepare for my grandfather's funeral on Saturday. So we're flying out tomorrow and I booked the jump seat because the standby list is a joke um, <laughs> and it's Mardi Gras weekend. So, you know, it's literally Mardi Gras weekend. Um, I just thought about something. I just thought about this parade I used to go to this tomorrow. Oh, Saturday. Oh, I wouldn't be able to go anyways. Never mind. I'm thinking, I, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> but um, yeah, so when I get off the plane and I go to my car, I literally need all the time I can get. I need to drive home. I need to pack because my flight, only because I'm riding with my, I'm, I'm flying with my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law, my sister, my brother-in-law, my nephew, they leave the flight leaves at 7 20 so we all want to be together so we can drive because once we get to new orleans um my dad's side of the family is from like the country it's called morgan city so we have to drive like an hour and like 15 minutes from that um the airport to there so we just wanted to it made sense to just fly together so we can drive together but the flight leaves at 7 20 meaning it boards at like 6 40. um and so we're trying to get there early. We're trying to get there early, especially because it's Mardi Gras this weekend and it's gonna be like, yeah. And they're on standby. I have a jump seat. I have a jump seat, but honestly, if they can't, I'm not even gonna say it. They're gonna get on a flight in Jesus name. They're gonna get on a flight in Jesus name. God is gonna work something out where they are gonna get on the flight. Um, but if another option is, you know, they're unable to for whatever reason, I'm not gonna probably get on um, unless they're able to get on the next one and I can just get on that flight. I hope I'm making sense. Get on the seven o'clock flight, wait for them. Cause that flight, the second flight going out lands at like 9.20. Wait for them at the airport and then, so. um, Yeah, coming back is not bad. It's just going, so. But I have a jump seat both ways cause I don't have time. I don't have time, I don't have time. So yeah, y'all, I'm about to get ready, brush my teeth, wash my face, get myself together. Um, we love Boston. We love Boston. Boston is a vibe. I love it every time I come here. Um, something else I wanted to say. The flight. The flight coming from Putagana yesterday was cool. It was cool. Um, it was cool. That's all I got to say. It was cool. People are going to do things that make, you know, People got to go to the bathroom and eat stuff. It was a three hour and 50 something minute flight. Almost four hours. So you're not, you shouldn't expect somebody to sit in their seat that long. Not want to stretch your legs. Not want to use the bathroom. Not eat water. Not, you know. So um, our longest, yesterday was a pretty long day. Um, it was a long day. <laughs> it was long. But today it's not as bad. We just have one long leg from Boston to Fort Lauderdale. And then Fort Lauderdale to Atlanta should be a breeze. should be a breeze <laughs> but yeah that's about it um this trip is going to be posted soon i'm working on getting my content out faster also something i wanted to talk about um that i haven't shared but i am the founder of rooted society which is a group and community i guess you can say i like the word community better of like-minded men and women christ-like um, men and women of all ages, all backgrounds, all different journeys. Um, and we are, the motto of the group is united by abstinence, rooted in Christ. 
So, um, yeah, it started in approximately October, I believe, October, November. Yeah, October, November, the group was founded. And it's a great group, great group. Um, if you're in the Atlanta area, or maybe you're not in Atlanta, but you need that community, um, definitely visit us on Instagram. We are Rooted Society. It's We Are Rooted Society. And of course, I'll put it in this video so that um, you all can check out our page. Our Instagram is slowly but surely developing. We're getting more content out. Um, I just started this new endeavor. I guess you can call it, it's called Wholesome Conversation. So I just bring different guests on, talk to them, interview style, conversation about their journey and their walk with Christ. So I ask some questions, but I let them do majority of the talking and input when needed. Um, so yeah, that's been going good. We already have one episode out. The next one is going to be dropping next week, I think, or the week after that. Um, so it's something, it's just, it's really good. I know God is going to move like he always does. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that if you all are looking for community or you know someone in the Atlanta area, we do have meet up, like meetups, we meet up and stuff like that. I'm actually planning a social, um, a, so a social for next month so that everyone, our new members and stuff can meet each other and meet me and things like that. So just wanted to share that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because the videos are only going to get better and i promise that because your girl is traveling this year i'm out here this year i'm out here this year like come on now follow me on instagram underscore blessed is she underscore underscore blessed is she um underscore blessed is she underscore underscore so i will see you guys later Update. So I um, went to have breakfast, which you guys just saw in the previous clips, walking back from Nordstrom Rock. Um, and so I got these items when I was here last time and I love them. So I just basically had to like restock. Um, I'll show y'all what I got when I get to the hotel to eat. Breakfast was okay. The guy, what I told him I wanted, he didn't. I should have had the name together anyways. I was going to show him a picture, but I just didn't want to be extra and hold the line up. But I didn't remember the name of what I got last time. So I was just going off my memory and explaining it. He tried. I will give it to him. He did try, but it's not what I wanted. It's not what I ordered last time. So um, it just was okay. I left a lot of it on a plate. It wasn't, it wasn't what I ordered last time. I know that for sure. And I even told him what was in it. He said, oh, oh, that's this. And I should have, I don't know. I should have um, looked more into the menu. I kind of was just like, oh yeah, that's it, that's it. Cause I saw like three things that was in it that was in the last dish, but um, it's cool. I'm gonna try another, a new place when I come back here for breakfast. At this point, I live in Boston. Oh, look at this wedding gown place. That's a sign. That's a sign. Wedding bells are ringing. Um, so, I think um, tops or Tati is one of those places you have to be very specific. You have to be very specific with what you want. Um, Cause they want to give it to you how it is. If you want extra sugar, sugar, you want extra creamy latte. Hold this, hold that, add this. I think that's one of those places. That's what I think. But um, I'm gonna stop talking <laughs> and I'll chat with you guys when I get to the room. 
Hey y'all, so I'm about to end this video after this, I promise. Um, I'm back in the room. Um, let me show y'all really quickly what I got. My total was from Nordstrom Rack. My total was $45.06. So, $45.06 for all these different things. Um, so, let me show y'all what I got really quickly. This is the moisturizing lotion, the Clinique moisturizing lotion. It's really, really good. It's like a sample size. It was $6.50. Really good. It hydrates your skin. I got the my fave, my fave, my fave, the lip glass clear from MAC. It's so good. Lip glass clear. I got an exfoliating dual texture scrubber. Um, $5. All of this was like by the register, just small little tokens to take. Um, six, not to take, I paid for it, but you know what I'm saying. Um, the clear lip glass was $15, 15, five, and then I think I said six something. Oh, this was $9.97. Wait, I didn't even get to that. Okay, so this is the see-through lip glass. So this is more of like a pigmented one think that's the word so it's like a it has more of a shine so I have the regular clear lip glass and then I have the see-through lip glass so I got both of them and this one is $9.97 and then I got two face masks I love these I use I got these last time they're the Neutrogena, Neutrogena Hydro Boost these are like hydrate your skin baby your skin gonna be looking good these right here okay um $2.97 I got two of them so yeah, that's all I got, y'all. Um, I'm about to chill, relax, and I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to chill before our um, pickup at 2, something I told y'all, 2.23. And we are headed to Atlanta tonight. Thanks for watching. Love y'all so much. Bye! Until next time.